Hunting for a small speaker that still kicks? Bose SoundLink Micro is super popular and Bose hasn't changed it in many, many years, but is it right for you? I'll put it to the test, including showing you what happens when it hits water. Is this puny portable speaker timeless or time's up? I'm Erin from Tech Gadgets Canada and Tech Gadgets International, and while I'm wondering why Bose hasn't launched a successor, I suspect the answer could be that this little speaker is such a popular seller and people are so happy with it that Bose doesn't need to reinvent the wheel. We'll see about that. In this review, I'll test it out to see how it sounds and what it's like to set up and use, as well as any special features that it has. I'll also do a quick comparison to see how it holds up against similar speakers like the JBL Clip 4, Marshall Willen, and House of Marley Get Together Mini 2. Unboxing the Bose SoundLink Micro feels a bit like opening a time capsule. The design isn't flashy, but if you check out the SoundLink Flex I reviewed last year, you'll see Bose keeps it high and tight when it comes to style and color. Think of Bose as more Jamie Lee Curtis, less Doja Cat. What also makes the package feel like a time capsule is the USB-A to micro USB charging cable that comes with the speaker. Not entirely Bose's fault anymore since Bose launched this speaker back in 2017, but we are in 2023 now and in an age where charging adapters and even some power banks only have a USB-C port. Take this into consideration, especially considering that you'll likely use this speaker when you're traveling. Bose SoundLink Micro keeps things simple with easy to understand buttons on the top and the face. The only port you'll find is that micro USB. There's no cover, but still the entire speaker is IP67 rated, meaning it's waterproof and dustproof. Naturally, I like to test this out, so I chucked it in the pool to see what would happen. You can see it doesn't float, so it's not ideal for the lake or deep water, but when you do fish it out, it keeps playing and it sounds just fine. Setting up and connecting to this speaker is really easy. It goes into pairing mode the first time you're going to use it. And if you need to connect somebody else's phone or a second device, you can just use the Bluetooth button for that. Either way, I was connected in about three seconds flat. Only hate a rose where you're missing home. The silicone exterior does give it a durable feel and the max Bluetooth range is about 30 feet or nine meters. What makes this speaker stand out a little bit is a clever tear resistant strap on the back. Just lift the bottom tab of it up to unclip it and you can supposedly attach it to a bike or something, except you can't. The strap has almost no give. So if you try to wrap it around anything like a bike handle, it doesn't fit. And with no loop or opening, you can't hang it on anything either. There's also no auxiliary port in case you still like to roll analog like that. Let's get to the sound. SoundLink Micro doesn't disappoint on the audio front. With surprising power, loudness, and bass for a speaker barely the size of a tenderloin, it kicks out great sound. The low end has a good amount of rumble and vocals cut through cleanly. Even more delicate tracks with higher leans sound more crisp and less tinny. About 30% of its volume was loud enough for same room listening and cranking it up to 70% lets you hear it all over the yard. A handy detail of the SoundLink Micro is the five small battery light indicators. Because Bose rates the battery capacity at around six hours, you can consider each light to be about an hour worth of juice, giving you a surprisingly helpful hint on how much you've got left in the speaker before recharging. Charging a fully drained speaker takes about four hours and you can chop down an hour of charging time if you use a higher charging adapter. Four hours is a bit long considering the total battery life isn't much more than that, but fortunately you can continue using the speaker while it's charging. So how does Bose SoundLink Micro compare to say the Tribit X Sound Go or the Marshall Willen, maybe the JBL Clip 4 or the House of Marley Get Together Mini 2? These are all equally matched speakers in my opinion. To some extent, if you're shopping based on looks, that'll help you decide, but all are equally portable with the Bose Micro being a smidge smaller than Marshall's Willen. The Willen has the same type of strap, but does add a split for it for hanging on hooks. The House of Marley Get Together Mini 2 stands out as a design forward option and gets a bit louder, but all of these speakers sound really sharp. The last factor might be price. Bose SoundLink Micro sells for about 119 US, often marked down to 99. 
The House of Marley get together mini two by comparison sells for about one sixty nine, and the Willin rings in at one nineteen or so. JBL Clip Four is eighty bucks. You can also check out the surprisingly good Tribit X Sound Go too, since it's under fifty bucks and sounds great while also matching a lot of these mini speaker features, including having an aux jack, speakerphone, and USB C charging. Maybe Bose might be seeing things a bit differently, but the ultra portable Bluetooth speaker marketplace isn't sitting still. The competition is out there and Bose definitely knows how to make small things sound loud and good. So if they wanted to upgrade, we'd probably all be interested. All this speaker really needs is maybe a new coat of paint or silicone skin and a USB-C port and an improved Bluetooth chipset. Maybe some upgraded drivers while I'm at it and this speaker could be the clear winner for best portable mini speaker of 2023. As it is, the speaker's pros are that it's super portable, it seems rugged, definitely waterproof, and it sounds great, particularly for its size. So what are the downsides to this speaker? Aside from the dated connections and a design that's getting a bit tired, it's hard to crack on this speaker for much at all, which may explain why it still sells by the tens of thousands each year. I can confidently recommend the Bose SoundLink Micro to you. You can check out some of those other mini speaker reviews I mentioned, see my review of the cheap and cheerful Tribit X Sound Go, or see what paying top dollar gets you from House of Marley's Get Together Mini 2 right now.